Biology, Chemistry, I like Physics, that's a good reason to be on here. There are some examples. Okay? So, we briefly focus on what are your career options after you graduate from myself in Physics. So, most of these are from final lectures. Okay? Actually, I have no clue about biology or other disciplines. I'm not like you guys, I will go to a very interdisciplinary curriculum. Okay, so you guys are lucky you have better exposure than us. So, okay, so what is physics? Okay, what was natural philosophy later on became physics. Okay, so it is the most fundamental science. Okay, that doesn't mean that's the only reason you should choose to do it. You should really enjoy doing physics. Okay. So, what is the relationship between physics and other sciences? Well, early chemistry helped us get ideas about atoms and then it developed quantum mechanics. And right now, the development of all new materials is still based on chemistry. Knowing quantum mechanics doesn't tell you how to build a new material. You can ask your age how tricky it is to make a new material. It's not a, a trivial thing. Okay, so there's a combination of fusion, chemistry, and everything that's going to make a material. So we take biology, Feynman points out that Mayer was a physician through uh, the conservation of energy, very clear thing. So biology is a fairly open field where, it, uh, since it's very complex and open, you can get ideas from different fields and make it work. And it also provides a good system for chemistry of this. Okay, so mathematics is the language of science. It also gives a very rigorous uh, way of writing in physical equations. Okay? Um, mathematical logic also guides physics quite often. Like string theorists, for example, like the beauty of mathematics and they want to carry whether they go to the nine dimensions or not, it doesn't matter. They can continue working guided by mathematical logic. So you can ask Professor Tuffel about David Hilbert's comments on 19th century physics. He thought physics was almost complete. It's better if he tells it once to you. Okay, so this is another nice statement from Feynman. Let's worry about psychology. How do people work? Why do I feel happy about doing physics or why does someone else feel happy about doing chemistry or biology? Nobody has the answer. Okay, so you can say theoretically all human beings are carbon based life forms, but understanding carbon and cubes or graphene is not going to take you very far. Okay? So the statement is we could figure out even how a dog works, they have gone pretty far. Dogs are easy to understand, but nobody yet knows how dogs work. Okay? So the point I'm trying to drive is physics still is focusing on inanimate matter. Electrons, holes, positrons, these are still the key elements.